Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed a live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for Rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it. A lot of ways they're messing up. I don't mean they're messing up whether their content is bad. I don't want to be that guy. I'm saying right. that they, they don't see the danger in showing their truck. And that's a, to me, that's just, it's just a no, no, bro. Don't tell, don't show you outside of your truck. You're very good at finagling it in a way where it's like, you know, most people think, oh, I know what SoCal's truck look like. They probably don't, but they're like standing in front of their truck number. And like they're just showing the whole kit and caboodle. And I used to do the same thing. And I would tell the new content creators in the trucking spaces, don't do that. Don't don't show people your truck number. That that starts them calling and saying this truck number is doing crazy stuff. They don't need to see MC. Let's talk and let's talk about that. I mean, before we all got on YouTube, bro, like I mean, you want to say high school stuff, like I never experienced stuff like that, you know, until we got on social media, bro. Like it ain't like we're doing kids here, we're doing grown grown folks on here, you know what I'm saying? And for them to for them to go on those levels, man, it, it's just crazy. I mean, well, I'm going to judge them, whatever their fun is, whatever it is they do, they do. I'm just saying, I just, I didn't experience it until I, until I got on YouTube. But. Yeah, that's, it's, it's hard to adjust to because you're thinking, why is someone calling my company about truck and in Kentucky and I'm in LA? <laughs> like, what the hell? Well, and then it's not just one call. It's like a whole fleet of people calling. You know, and then they're like remembering your truck. And I had people cut my airlines, pop my tires, pull my kingpin. I think, I think I saw a video. I think you did a video one time about, or somebody did a video about airlines before or something. Was like, yeah, oh. like I went to sleep, perfect airline. Woke up, I mean, like a razor cut to me. I'm like, what the? I've had notes left on my truck. I know it's you in there. Me and you got problems, but you know, I got to go like weird shit. Like, whoa, dude, what are you talking but, but let's think about that. Let, let's, let's visit that for a second. Like, if that person was a real dude, like, he wouldn't have left a note. He would have banged down that door and wanted that smoke, wanted that action. True. And that's, that's, who, that's who we're dealing with. You know, he, he would want the bullets head on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> some people like to taste the bullets. They really do. And my thing is, um, I never come off like a tough guy because I feel like that's corny, but at the same time, I know my rights and, you know, I know, you know, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. I know how I'm supposed to do it. And if anybody who is in this position, who is, I mean, cause there's so many new creators now you can't keep up with them. Cause like you said, when we, when we were doing this, it wasn't cool to do. It wasn't cool to do this. Now everyone does it. It's almost like a part we of your- watch, we watch we watch YouTube change, bro. Like, yeah, when we started. There wasn't no monetization or nothing. When we first started. No, at least we didn't there know was, about it. <laughs> yeah, there, there was no uh, there was, there was no stream yard. There was no hit this app. If you got a hundred subs, you can go live. None of that. Like there was none of that stuff. You had to get down and make videos. You know, and yeah. that was it. There was no live stuff. I think live ruined the space personally. It, it, it what it does is it, it live live stunts your creative juices. You know, you're not editing, you don't have to edit it, you just hit the button, you just talk, and you just cut it off. And it uh it really does it did ruin the space. But you know, that's Google, man. They wanted to take it out of Twitch's hands and they started doing it, and they started doing shorts like like you know, 
like a Snapchat. And then it's, you know what I mean? Like they start doing reels and it, it makes it very complicated to navigate, the, navigate the space. And I see the, the younger people doing it, which is dope, but I just don't think they really know that every, that, that, that the companies that they have access to is watching. I don't think they know that because if they did a lot of things, they wouldn't do. But it's driving like we at you. Yeah. It's just like, so what I learned, bro, is like, if I see people just not getting on YouTube and doing things, I have to sit back and put myself in their shoes. Like I was there. You know what I mean, like I was just as ignorant, and unknowledgeable, which is nothing wrong with it. Right. Cause anything you do, you don't have the knowledge you learn it, you know? And so, so I, I understand it now, you know? And so, I agree. I just, I just feel like, I feel like those are the nuances that I talk about on my channel because everybody done told you how to drive and learning how to shift is not a thing no more. All y'all got things on your license. So that's not a video anymore. Driving a mountain has been done a million times. Uh, how to do your time clock, which is funny. People need more videos like that. Cause I'm talking to the new generation. And they have no idea how to handle their time clock, which is crazy. But so I still do it every once in a while and it helps people. So, but I don't try to, I try to do, nuance shit you know like like i i talk about well i mean i don't know if you've been watching lately because i know you're busy but i'll talk about things like you know having an old lady and because it was it was okay for us to have an old lady back then if you call it 10 20 years ago now there's a lot of narrative about not having a significant other and they think that it's better and a lot of that shit just it it, it it kind of rubs me the wrong way and I'd be speaking on it because I just don't think that it's helpful. Trucking is lonely enough. We don't need to take on no plights on being more lonely. Like <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a lonely enough job, bro. Yeah, I, I learned about, I learned about that because I don't know if you remember, you know, my kids are small. I used to put my kids on, you know, obviously my kids are mixed. Um, I don't have no pure white kids, you know? And so, Pure white. <laughs> so, you know, I, I get on with my kids because, you know, we're having fun. We're happy trying to show people, man, trucking, sappy and stuff like that. And then people would attack my kids in the comment section. Mm. I never spoke on it, but they would, you know, say all kinds of crazy crap. And right. at that time, like, OK, I can't put my kids on here now. You know, Right. Me and you um, both stopped at the same time. Yeah. Because it's. Oh, it, it's it's what type of person attacks the kids, bro? What well, type of it person used to gas that? me up. I used to get really mad, but then I have to realize that it's just ignorance. And there's a lot of that in the world. And I can't fix it. Yeah. Oh my video God. ain't gonna fix it. Me getting mad ain't gonna fix it. There's just ignorance out there, bro. And you know, that's what it, that's where it's at. It's it's one of the realest things that could be said. You cannot Something my father does, he always says, I mean, it's the way you got to do it. And I used to hate, why does he always say that? Because my dad says, it's okay for you to be stupid. It is not my job to make you smart. It's my, he says, my job to say something to you. And when you reject it, the way he gets out of that perceived argument, hey, man, you got to do it the way you got to do it. Mm -hmm. And I used to think that's so, but then I started finding myself saying it. Like, cause you know, younger dudes, they get a, they kind of crowd around me. I do play video games. Hold on. Hello? <laughs> Freaking phone, man. This shit was loud. I don't know what that was. But anyway, um, I can't make you smart. And it ain't my job. And I and why would I want to put that emotional stress onto me trying to make everybody something that I want them to be? If you, if you want to be that, be ignorant. That's all I can say is my point. Let it be talked about on the show. Everybody can get their sides out in the comments and when they call in. And when the, when the, when it goes off, it's over. No harping on it, no sitting around, no watching the response videos, no seeing if SoCal commented something different than I like. I, I'm not doing all that. I mean, you're gonna make yourself, you're gonna make yourself old, bro, doing that. Just let people be who they are, man. 
one thing about it is the channels, you know, they speak their opinion. And everybody has the right to speak their opinion. Facts. Even if it's an opinion, they go in the comment section and say, hey, it's okay, you suck, or whatever. I mean, I, I come back like, hey, man, I respect your opinion, bro. It's your opinion, bro. Like, I'm not going to change your opinion. If you feel that, you feel that, you know. And I just move on from there. I had a guy ask me, you know, TB, if you're uh, you're always trying to help the people and everything, that's what y'all say. Why didn't you speak on the uh, trucking guru type people or the the uh, the people offering these trucking businesses in the box? And why didn't you get involved in that? Special thanks to Corey Wilson. Just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech, where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed a live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TB Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it.